Due to some technical difficulties, I will be having an interactive session uh, on my paper presentation. It's basically on... My topic is basically on Wanse Village, Model for Sustainable Development. When we talk about a model for sustainable development, we think about many factors that is required for a village to categorize itself as a sustainable one. When do we say a village is sustainable? We need to take into, uh, uh, we need to take into account many situations. Let's say urbanization. What happens when urbanization happens? There will be a massive inflow of people from villages to the urban areas. So, we put in disposition the old people, the elderly, in the village areas. So, that is a big issue that we need to know. So, in that manner, we came, uh, in, in a normal manner, what we did was, we needed to draft a model for a sustainable village. So, what came into our minds were the basic models that we had. And with that, we build up in research. So the research methodology that we used was a quantitative and a qualitative descriptive case study method. And for accurate results, we used focus group study method. So basically, we went to BNC workers, ASHA workers, same. And we went to the um, Gram Panchayat. We, we interviewed each and every individual that was there present, the members of the Gram Panchayat Sabha. There is a saying that goes, we are yesterday's people preparing today's children for tomorrow. But normally what we do is, today's kids are prepared for yesterday. They are given yesterday's training. So in a sustainable model, we need to think about the future. So we actually made a few set of models that we need to know. The first one was agriculture. In one say, what we understood was people were dependent on agriculture as well in two ways. One is the cash crops and one is the basic crops. The basic is the rice and the second one was cash crops and cash. So how, does, how is it different? How is it sustainable? The idea was very simple. They, made, they have a very good connection of farming cooperative society there. Um, when I say a very good, the roots are basic. They help each other in massive ways. They have a farmer's cooperative bank, which comes to my second one, rural finance. It is a sustainable model where people help hand in hand and make sure that money reaches at the right time. Then we come to housing. All are pakka houses. There are government schemes that are directly implemented by the Gram Sabha. Gram Panchayat. The next is transportation. Through our study, we understood that transportation was not a big challenge for the entire village. Roads were pure tarred. Only to the interiors where the current, uh, there were level queues. Normally, we do not see that in villages. The next one is healthcare. You should understand that in one say, for a, uh, for a population of 3,800 or so, um, they are catering to other villages in terms of healthcare. So you should understand, it is a sustainable model, not just for the village, but for the next as well. Then we come to rural safety. We checked with the police station, we checked with the um, people over there, in the uh, Gram Panchayat. We understood that rural safety was very high. Number of uh, cases that were registered as per um, the records were very low as compared to any other villages. Telecommunication is totally on mark and smart rural culture is too good. One thing that I came to understand, and one thing that we made our decision to keep once as a modern village is the SLRM project, or the solid liquid based management system. Even the basic items that you see in our waste, they have taken it and converted it into cash. When you say waste to cash, it is the best way possible. Suppose there are packets of lace, the packets we eat, they are not reusable at all in any ways. They wash it, they process it, they put it in tar and they use it on the roads. Suppose it is plastic bottles, 
they separate the bottles separately according to the grains and then they grind it and then they use it as secondary raw inputs to other industries and you should understand they are being paid for each and every material that they collect they shred they process and they clean so when you talk about sustainability at the basic this is what even in a city or a urban city like kochi mangalore bangalore we do not have proper waste management or waste disposal systems whereas when we go to a place where there are only 3800 people badly where a lot of waste is produced at that level they are making money out of it and we are failing in urban areas miserably so when we talk about sustainability in the basic core they are a model in that way we met the president of the gram panchayat uday kumar shah he has been there in power for three consecutive terms that means good governance is the main key focus that i have found they have a school that is being built on a trust basis they pooled in all the money through the trust none of the resources are been badly utilized everything that the school earns is reinvested back to the school that is the best part which itself is a self sustaining model because electricity itself is generated through solar power and all the subsidy schemes that are taken from the government are purely taken into consideration and put into account and the good governance model when i say it is transparent transparent in every sense they were ready uh, mr uday kumar shah was ready to give us the uh, budget and the account statement and we do have it with me and my department as well so that you should understand good governance is also a key model for a sustainable village model when we say so these were the main things that we understood when we took into account a village for to become a sustainable model that is my share and i conclude by saying you should understand that for any urban areas that we live in right now we all started from rural areas so unless and until people in the rural areas are uplifted through sustainable methods we will not be able to reach an urban setting in a long run from now thank you education is a government program what we lack is waste management program which there is no government program for there are subsidies for many other things but there are no proper waste management programs that we get but you say that in that village it is there it is there and it's only done with a budget of 3 crores it's only done with a budget of 3 crores and they are managing it for 3800 plus the connected villages that means it will be close to 10000 The mortality rate is surprisingly um, less. We all we checked into the accounts many times, twice. We interviewed um, people from the PNC. Um, we interviewed the uh, Anganwadi workers as well. We understood that the literacy rate is also very high. Plus, the sorry. Crime rate. Sorry. Crime rate is less. because um, as we say here malanad it is the area the crime rate is very less over there it's the number of cases registered is less but that doesn't mean that crime is not there cases not reported does not mean crime is less and cases reported does not mean that it is a high crime state so we cannot give a conclusion on crime stage to be in honest with whatever research you conduct that will not be the case but when we say the i'll give you a good indicator the uh, female sex ratio male to female sex ratio is high that means there are more females there that we 
means they have a good opening understanding towards females. And the Gram Panchayat host people who are mainly females. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.